Hi folks out there, Tom is here, um, Sunday, um, and um, did the work for the week, I'm preparing to do the work for the next week, and I just wanted to uh, say hi to everybody, and I just wanted to, to um, talk about um, this past week. Well, my last video, I was not too complimentary to what the government said about the economy. They were saying that we were, uh, the economy looks good, everything is rosy, and uh, you know, we were making progress. Then we had the consumer price index come out, oh, excuse me, the GDP uh, come out. And the economy actually shrank 1.8%. What that means is that all the goods and services that that uh, we that we do as as Americans uh, we generate is called um, work, and the work is calculated to a, a certain value. And when we're working and, and the economy is moving, everything is good. The economy is supposed to, you know, expand. Expansion is good, and it was expanding at about about a year ago. It was expanding at six point four percent, which means that you know everything was was was, was rocking and rolling. And then, uh, within the last six to eight months, the wheels came off the cart. <laughs> they went, forget it. So with that one point eight means is that uh, the amount of goods and services that America is generating we're not generating that much anymore okay it's 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 it stopped and it started to retract what that also means is that all the goods and services that we produce well what that means is that we're not producing enough to make the economy work and the economy has to work because that's just your engine. It's just like you pulling the plug <laughs> off, uh, off, uh, you know, uh, off your engine. You, know, you got to put gas in it. But if the in if 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 you you know cut the engine off or if you cut the fuel supply uh, to the engine, the engine's going to slow down and it's going to stop. But it's not going to continue until something happens. So. What's been going on the, these last couple months is that the economy has slowed down to a complete stop and it started to regress. And I don't know what the government is seeing, but I'm seeing this, and a lot of people seeing this. You have cost of goods going high, and the the, the money that people produce is not enough to cover their expenses and cover their their costs. And a lot of companies, you know, they had to reach into their pocket in order to keep the lights going on. But what will eventually happen, you know, they can't make ends meet and the company shuts down. And what happens when the company shuts down, that means that I lose my job. My wife has to do without my income because I got to find a job. And the economy is, is, is tight right now. A lot of people are not going to be hiring more people because... You know they they're strapped too. They can't take on more people. So what that means is that we're all screwed. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with uh, with our government. The people they they don't see this, but I see it. If if simple Americans can't put food on the table, we got a problem. Uh, you know we can't. We, this is not sustainable for us. Um, we put you guys in power because we thought that you guys had the wherewithal and had the knowledge to be able to put us in a good situation. But it seems to me that you guys are incompetent. You guys don't know what you're doing. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like you guys don't see what's going on. Your eyes are closed. You, uh, I think it's called cognitive dissonance. You don't see what's going on, but there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Suppose, you know, you were on a, on a plane and 
the, the plane starts going down, and and the, the pilot said everything's good. We're going this way. We're we're, we're cruising, but yet the, you see you, you see the altimeter going going down, going down. But he's like, oh, we good now. <laughs> no, we're not. We're gonna crash. <laughs> Not unless something happens to change the economy. And I don't think that that's it. I don't know what's going on with the, with the, the administration. Um, I'm serious. Uh, you guys are pushing the, the, the Green New Deal. You know, you want us to get on the electric cars and electric this and of that. But, but to, to do that would cost, would be a, a lot of cost for, for, a lot, for us. And, and, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough, uh, you know. So I, I think you guys need to come up with another plan. I, I mean, th this plan is not working. I'm serious. <sighs> you, you, Biden, you need to you need to do something. You need to wake up, because uh, you know we need help. We need help out here. Um, you guys, the plan that you guys have. We, 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 it's, it's not working for us. Um, so oh, I'm just going to just say, I'm not going to be political, but I could be, but I'm not, okay? I could say this group is bad. I could say that group is bad. I'm just going to call balls and strikes, okay? I'm just going to be the umpire. Because right now, <laughs> we're, 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 we're getting beat up here. And um, even the brain, the brain trust needs to come up with them a plan. But, you know, we're, we're getting beat up out here. And this week, I, I'm, I'm faced with a, a, a lot of concern. Um, you know, I had to go to a food pantry, which uh, my church offered and I did. Because, you know, my, my, my funds are really tight. Um, then my, 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 my car is having some issues. And uh, <laughs> this is, this is, oh, man. So. Biden, he ain't got worried about it because, you know, he's, he's, he's driving the beast or the beast too. And he ain't got to worry about putting in gas and worry about the maintenance of his car. But I do. I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, help a brother out. <laughs> help the country out. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. I'm out. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you guys next week.